In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we gather in the presence of the Lord, as we begin this new day, let us thank the Lord, first and foremost, for the gift of this day. Very often in life, we realize that we experience many things, we get many gifts, but we do not appreciate them. Similarly, when we look back at our lives, right from the time of our birth until now, there may have been numerous blessings, numerous gifts that we have received. But sometimes because of our busy schedule, sometimes because of our carelessness, we often fail to thank the Lord for the blessings, for the graces that we have received. And therefore, as we spend this time with Him in the morning, as we offer this day to the Lord, let us begin with an attitude of gratitude. Let us thank Him for all the things that He has done for us, that He is doing for us, and which He will continue to do for us in the future. And therefore, my friends, let us first and foremost begin by thanking the Lord for the gift of life. Lord, we thank you for giving us this day a new day to experience your love, joy and mercy. We thank you for giving us another opportunity to correct some of our errors and our mistakes. Lord, we also thank you for the various opportunities that you have given us. Opportunities to work on our talents, opportunities to complete some other tasks. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of the people in our lives. We thank you for our parents, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. Most importantly, Lord, we thank you for those people who have dedicated their time and energy and have helped us become who we are. It is because of the dedication of the effort of these individuals that we have become who we are. And therefore, Lord, we ask you that you bless them abundantly. Lord, we also thank you for the numerous experiences that we have had. There have been some very good experiences which we will always cherish. But there have also been experiences that have been difficult, that have not been very easy. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for those experiences as well because they have taught us a lot in life. These difficult experiences have helped us become better individuals. It has helped us to become stronger. And therefore, Lord, today we offer up to you everything. Our difficulties, all our worries, and we place them at your feet. Lord, you said, come to me, all those who labor and are tired, and I will give you rest. All of us long for peace, all of us long for rest. And therefore, Lord, we come to you knowing that you will give us rest, you will give us peace of mind, heart and body. And above all, that you will guide us in whatever we do. My dear friends, the word of God welcomes us this morning. And therefore, let us today begin by meditating and reflecting on Psalm 66. As usual, we will take the psalm and then we will take a look at the psalm in detail. First and foremost, we shall have an overview of the psalm and then we shall take a look at a few verses and what the psalm tries to convey to us. Now we see that Psalm 66 
is a psalm of praise and thanksgiving that celebrates God's mighty works and it invites all people to join in worship. Now this psalm is attributed to David and it can be divided into several sections, each highlighting different aspects of God's actions and the appropriate response of praise. Now in verses 1 to 4, we see that it is said, Make a joyful shout to God, all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name, make his praise glorious. Say to the Lord, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. And therefore here we see that the psalm begins with an exhortation to all people to joyfully praise and honor God's name. And here we see that the psalmist acknowledges the awesome works of God and also the power that compels even the enemies to submit. Now the psalmist declares that all the earth will worship God and sing praises to him and this emphasizes the universal nature of God's sovereignty and deserving praise. Now when we come to verses 5 and 7, it goes something like this. Come and see the works of God. He is awesome in his doing towards the Son of Man. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the river on foot. There we will rejoice in him. And in these verses 5 to 7, here the psalmist invites the people to witness the incredible deeds of God. Now the psalmist recalls the crossing of the Red Sea and the Jordan River by the Israelites. And in this way, he tries to highlight God's power to part the waters and provide a way for his people. By citing this example, we see that the psalmist emphasizes the rejoicing that takes place in the presence of such miraculous acts. Now, even in our lives, we see that we may find difficult situations. We may find occasions where things appear very difficult. And it is in these moments when we approach the Lord, when we surrender ourselves to Him, He will prepare a way for us. Verses 8 to 12 go like this. Oh, bless our God, you people, and make the voice of His praise to be heard who keeps soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our backs. And by saying this, the psalmist calls on the nations to bless and praise God. Now the psalmist acknowledges God's role as the protector of life and the one who has tested and refined his people through various challenges. And therefore the imagery of being brought into the net and enduring affliction will speak of the challenges that were faced by the people of Israel and the refining process that they underwent. And in verses 13 to 15, it says, You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through water, but you brought us up to rich fulfillment. I will go into your house with burnt offering. I will pay you my vow, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. And by saying this, the psalmist describes the hardships faced by people, including being oppressed and going through trials. And we see that despite these challenges, the psalmist acknowledges God's deliverance and restoration, leading to a state of rich fulfillment. Here we see that the psalmist expresses a desire to enter God's house with offerings and also to fulfill the vows made in times of trouble. And finally, in verses 16 to 20, the psalm goes like this. Come and hear all you who fear God, 
and I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. And here we see that the psalmist will invite those who fear God to listen as he recounts the ways God has worked in his life. Now if we introspect into our lives, we see that God works in various ways. Sometimes we may not even be aware of it. But yes, the Lord has his own ways of working. Then sometimes it is good that we take some time off and look and see what the Lord has done for us. And here the psalmist shares his personal experience of crying out to God, offering praise and being heard. The psalmist acknowledges the importance of a sincere heart and the Lord's responsiveness to genuine prayer. And therefore, if our intention is good, if we know what we are doing, then definitely the Lord will be there with us and we will feel the presence of the Lord. In whatever we do, in the activities that we perform, God's presence will be felt. And therefore, in summary, Psalm 66 can be seen as a powerful psalm that invites everyone to join in joyful praise and thanksgiving. It recounts historical events and highlights God's role in testing and refining His people. Now, the psalm also emphasizes the importance of sincere worship and trust in God's faithfulness. Therefore, the psalm serves as a reminder of God's sovereignty, His deliverance, and the necessity of responding with gratitude and reverence. And therefore, my dear friends, having heard and meditated on Psalm 66, let us now close our eyes and at this morning hour, let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord. Loving Father, you have given us the time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and He has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to bless us and protect us. For all that you have done for us, Lord, we thank you, we praise you and we glorify you. You have protected us, Lord, and you have guarded us all through the night. And you have given us this morning up. For your great love and mercy, O Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you. You protect us, O Lord, and you are always there to guide us and to be with us at every step of the way. And therefore, my dear friends, now let us spend a few moments in silence meditating on this song. and let us see what touched us. There may be a verse that we were touched by when we read the psalm and therefore let us go back to this verse, let us go back to this word and see how does it apply to me, how can it help me to the will of God and become a better person. O Jesus, 
through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of April, for the role of women. We pray that the dignity and immense value of women be recognized in every culture and for the end of discrimination that they experience in different parts of the world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them 
to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. Regina Chaley Queen of Heaven, rejoice! Alleluia! For he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia! has risen as he said, Alleluia! Pray for us to God, Alleluia! Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia! For the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia! Let us pray, O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of Thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, we beseech Thee, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, His Mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you 
for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Litany to Mary the Loreto Litany Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us 
God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. For us, Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. For us, Queen of Angels, pray for us, Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us, Queen of Prophets, pray for us, Queen of Apostles, pray for us, Queen of Martyrs, pray for us, Queen of Confessors, pray for us, Queen of Virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away 
the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defenders in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint jetrud prayer for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen